Good morning, everyone. It's widowed mom raising two sons back with a Dollar Tree haul. It's Saturday, June 15th, and I went into my Dollar Tree last evening, Friday evening, and I'm just now doing my haul. I didn't feel up to doing it last night when I got home because it was after nine. So I did find some good, <coughs> good things. Just a minute, Coco. Oh, come here, baby. Come here. Hello. And here's Coco this morning. Yeah. He's such a little love dog. These miniature Dotsons or any Dotsons, they're such lovers. He is just such a lover. Even though he keeps me up at night sometimes. He, he'll he get up and hear something and walk around and then he'll fuss when he wants back under the covers because he loves to be under the covers. And if he can't get under the covers, he'll fuss until I let him under. Huh. Yeah. So there's Coco. But I did go into the my DT. And let me tell you, they are, they must be going through a transition. The, the aisles were bare. Um, I've never seen the Dollar Tree so bare. And, you know, I'm seeing everyone haul all this new, neat stuff. And I go into my DT and it's just like a ghost town. So I don't know if they're getting ready to transition or if we're not going to, if I'm not going to see things until maybe like the middle of July when they start putting back to school stuff out because my stationary aisle, oh my gosh, completely bare. I mean, hardly any pins any pencils um <clears throat> nothing i mean no new stickers nothing um so it was really really bare the whole store i was just like you know and they had boxes out so it looked like they're maybe going to start stocking stuff for the fourth of july um but i did find some things and so i'll share them with you so I'm gonna take a drink of my coffee. I hope you're all having a good Saturday morning. It's really cloudy here today. It was kind of hard to get motivated to get <laughs> to get up. But the first thing I picked up was this spa soap. I, the, it's the refill. I picked two up. This is what we use. Sorry about my nails. I didn't get all my polish off, but um. I picked two of those up, so yeah, Coco is just, I don't know what he's doing over there. He's fussing. Coco B, you need to stop fussing. He's just fussing this morning. I picked up some nail polish remover. I really like this nail polish remover. I need to use it, of course. <laughs> and I picked up this number two dark brown color easy hair color. I did a review on this. This is what I use on my on my hair. I absolutely love it. I can't say enough. I went yesterday to get my hair trimmed for the first time in like over nine weeks. And my hairdresser was like, your hair looks really good. And it feels really, really good. So, and I told her, I went and she's like, oh, you shouldn't, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't use the box colors and blah, blah, blah. But you know what? I will use the box color because I like how my hair looks and I like how it feels. I was at a graduation party last weekend and I had several people that hadn't seen me in a while say, Chris, your hair looks great. And, it, and they had to touch it. And so... I will use this as long as they carry it. And it's so easy to do. It's not messy. Um, yeah, and I leave it on for like 45 minutes. And then I just hop in the shower and rinse it all out. But if you're looking for something to try, try this hair color. I love it. I absolutely love it. And I would have never been the type of person to use a dollar tree hair color because I was always the type of person you have to go to the salon and get your hair done and you know you'd spend $65 by the time you got out of there between your color and your you know your cut and whatever else they did now I do it at home for a dollar a dollar 
And then I picked up some Carmex Moisture Plus Lip Balm. I've never seen my Dollar Tree have it um, in the in this style. I always got it at Walmart, and I always had one in my purse. I always have something on my lips, and you know I love that lip oil. So, yeah, so I got that. And my kids, yeah, they already broke into those. I picked up some of the Swiss cakes, Swiss rolls. Throw those back there. I picked up two packages of the Puffs Kleenex. I'm gonna take one to work because we ran out and it's allergy season and I'm constantly needing to blow my nose. Then, as always, I always get the toilet paper. I like this toilet paper. So I picked up two packages. I'm just putting everything back on the table so it'll get put away. And then I picked up one, two, three, four, and five. Five boxes of the Buddy Bars. These are really, really good. My kids love them. I even tried one the other day. They taste they taste good. Go to your local Dollar Tree and buy your snacks. You know, try them out. My kids like these. Try them out. And it's a dollar. Think of what you'd pay in the big box stores for your snacks. And then I got one more box of the Swiss rolls. I, my kids hadn't tried these, so I thought I'd just start with two boxes and go from there. Picked up some uh, crunchy pearls, few bags of the pretzel rods. Tyler really likes the pretzel rods. And this, what an amazing find at the Dollar Tree. This is what I mean. Go to the Dollar Tree and see what snacks you can find because you never know. I stocked up on the Snyder's pretzels when they had them. I absolutely love them. When I saw these, I grabbed three packages of them. Aztec white corn tortilla chips for a dollar. A dollar. This is an 11 ounce bag. 11 ounce bag. A dollar at the Dollar Tree. How much do you think you'd pay for these at the big box store? I bet at least $2.99. So I picked up three bags of those. And I picked up four packages of the Sunbeam AA batteries. Um, Trenton goes through these. His, his Xbox controller runs on batteries. So I picked up four of those. And then some cheese balls. Oh, and they had these. So I got, I picked up three boxes of these to try. The apple bits. So Trenton had some last night. Excuse me, and he, he liked them. So I got three, three boxes of those. And this is Coco. No. This is a 12 ounce box. Then as always, I picked up two packages of the dog biscuits. My these are big biscuits. So what I do is I break them in half and then each dog gets a half of a biscuit. So then these last, these go a long way. And I always use this Purina dog food. My boys, my boys, my dogs are both boys, so yeah, I call them my boys. Both doggies like this dog food. I finally got the pink cups. I've had the blue and the green ever since they came out with their spring line, and I saw they had the pink. And I use these, you know, we, we have plastic cups, but I'm like, you know what, grab one of these bring it back in we can wash it all summer long so i bought a pack of those this body soap i absolutely love it and when i see that they have it i grab it because they don't always have it 
Oh, Coco is just, I don't know today. I think he's just gonna want lots of loving, I guess. And here, I always get the VO5 moisturizing shampoo. They didn't have any of the moisturizing or dry scalp conditioner, so I grabbed what I could. Ultra Shine dishwash packs. I grab these when my DT has them because I love them. And I run my dishwasher every day. Every day I run it because we have dishes, you know, galore. And I use these trash bags. They're not the best trash bags, but you know what? They get the job done and for a dollar. I, I, my DT has not gotten the cheeky plates in yet. So I bought just the regular, you know, 20 count party plates. Because if you go back into the um, other section, the paper plates, I think you only get eight or 10. So I go for the party plates. I bought 48 spoons, plastic spoons. I bought 48 forks. Cause I'm like, if you're gonna, you know, eat and take it outside or, you know, take it to your room, take a plastic fork. I'm sick of my silverware coming up missing. <laughs> it's just like the socks. And I bought some more of this hazelnut chocolate spread. Trenton really likes this. He'll put this on his Ellie's bagels that we get from the Dollar Tree. So I picked up one of those. And then I picked this one up for him to try. It's cookie butter, cookie butter creamy. So I'm gonna have him try that and see if he likes that. And then two packages of the Reynolds Wrap aluminum foil. I love Reynolds Wrap. I don't have good luck when I buy the Dollar Tree aluminum foil. It always seems like I'll pull it too fast and then it just all shreds. So. I just stick with the Reynolds wrap. Oops, I bought three. Um, okay, and then I bought three packages of the honey, glazed honey buns. Trenton and the boys were Trenton and Tyler liked these, so I picked up three packages for them. And then I think I went a little overboard, just a little. <laughs> I'm gonna pull up my stool, just a little. So I went down the makeup aisle for the first time when I got there. I thought, let's go to the makeup aisle first, then I'll hit the stationery, and then I'll just go, you know, because I always hit every aisle. Um, first off, I picked up the Miracle Nail, the nail hardener. I'm hoping this will work. Um, I, I use the gel nail, and it just seems like my nails are a little weak. So I'm, I'm going to try this nail hardener and hope it, you know, hope it helps. But the first time I went down the makeup aisle, I was looking for the nail polishes that everybody is hauling. And I didn't see them. I was like, oh, great, they don't have them. So I did all the rest of my shopping and then I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go walk down the makeup aisle again just to see if I missed anything. And of course I did. They had these, the nail polishes hanging up. I wasn't expecting them to be hanging up. I thought maybe they'd be sitting down on the counter. but. It caught my eye. Excuse me. So, I think I went a little crazy. But, excuse me, they make great gifts. Um, great stocking stuffers. It'd be a nice gift for a coworker, you know, family member. So, I did. I picked up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I picked up nine. <laughs> First color is this. I. I just love those colors. So I picked up that color. And I'm anxious to try these and do a review on them. If any, I know a lot of you have hauled them. If you've tried them, let me know what you think. Look at these colors. Oh, I have a glare. I'm sorry. But aren't those pretty? That's that color. And look at these colors. I'm thinking like toes, you know, for the summertime and those two colors. And then these, I just, they had a lot of pretty colors to choose from. I guess I didn't realize how many colors there were. I kept pulling them off, pulling them off. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's a different color each time. Those colors.
And look at these. I absolutely love that color. And I love them all. I love them all. But look at that. The cashier that was ringing me up, she she always, she's there all the time, it seems like, when I go there. And I've made, I've made very dear friends at my local Dollar Tree. They are just so sweet. We were connected on Facebook and it's just wonderful. I've made lasting friendships with employees at Dollar Tree and they take such good care of me. And, you know, they're, if I want something, if, you know, if I tell them something, they'll be on the lookout for it and, you know, let me know if they get it in stock. So she was talking to me. I'm like, look at all these nail colors. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, but look, she says, look at all the money you're, you're saving getting them like this. And I said, I know. She said, you're paying a dollar for three bottles. I couldn't believe it. But I got all these nail polishes. All of these nail polishes. Sorry about the glare, guys. It's dark outside and I have my lights on. But yes, if I don't use, they're going to be great stocking stuffers, co-worker gifts. So... Yeah, if you don't use nail polish and you know somebody in your family that does, by all means, buy these. Um, I know a lot of people are starting to shop for, you know, Christmas. I don't. I don't shop till like September. Um, but yeah, but I saw these and I thought I'm gonna get one in each color, and just keep you know what I don't use. I'll have in my gift gift closet, and then I can give these away as gifts. I. Who wouldn't love this? You could do this, a nail file, nail polish remover, and there's a great gift. Put it together in a cute little basket, and there's your great coworker gift, or your friend gift, or your boss gift, if you have a female for a boss. I work with all females, so that's what was going through my head. Great gift with nail polish remover, a nail file, you know, the polish, you know, the little rounds to take the polish off. Gosh, you could spend five or six bucks and have a great gift. So that's, that's that. So that is my Dollar Tree haul. So I absolutely was glad that I found the nail polishes, but I'm still so sad that my DT has not gotten those journals that you can decorate yourself with the stickers. I'm on the hunt for those. And I just, ugh. And I wanted to give a quick update on the Sassy and Chic Foundation. The Sassy and Chic Foundation, I love the medium one. That's what I prefer. That's what I'm going to wear. I did buy a package of the Sassy and Chic. It was called Dark One. I tried that. It was way too dark on my face. Even adding lotion, it was too dark on my face. I felt like wow, I'm like this tan, my face was like this tan, and then the rest of me, no. So I'll be giving, um, if anybody uses the Sassy and Chic shade Dark One, I have one in the package that's not opened. I'd be more than happy to send it to you free of cost. I wouldn't even, you know, charge shipping. So if anybody out there uses the Sassy and Chic Dark One, reach out to me. I always have my email, uh, linked down below send me an email and i'd shoot it off to you mail it off to you um, because it is just too dark for me so i'm going to be on the hunt for um medium one sassy and chic so if you're out there and you see the sassy and chic medium one pick me up a couple ship them to me i always have my address and everything linked down below I will glad you, gladly send you a Dollar Tree gift certificate. I have a very, very dear YouTuber, and um, she lives in the, the state close to me, and she found some, and she's going to be mailing them off to me. And I just absolutely, um, I just love that. I love that we help each other. We can be on the lookout for what each other wants. And, yeah. And I just, yeah, I can't say enough. So I wanted to give a review on that and just say that I absolutely love the Sassy and Chic Foundation medium, Shade Medium 1. If you're out there and your DT has Sassy and Chic Foundation, try it. You will not be disappointed. I tell you what, this makeup, this foundation is 
better than the Mary Kay. Better, uh, and that's my opinion. Of course, this is my opinion, so but I'm just saying it is better than the Mary Kay. So I wanna touch, I know this video is long. Um, I just wanna touch on a few things I picked up at the Dollar General the other day. I had to go to the Dollar General the other day before work to pick up um, some snacks because we had a carry-in. So I'll go through this quickly. I picked up this LA Colors Shimmer Bronzer. I just thought that looked so pretty. And that was $3. This was $3. It was on sale, um, cause it's usually, I've kept my ticket so I could tell you. Oh no, it was two fifty regular three dollars. So I got this for three dollars, and then I picked up another day two night LA Colors palette. This was a dollar fifty. I already have this, but I love these colors, so I thought for a dollar fifty, I might as well pick another one up. And then this was the best buy. <laughs> LA Colors, this is 16, 16 eyeshadows, 16, $2.50. It was on sale, $2.50. So I picked this up. I thought, you can't pass that up. You cannot. So I picked those three items up at my local Dollar General and Yes, I'm gonna get off here quickly because this is over 20 minutes long. And also, I have my 600 subscriber giveaway posted. Go watch that video, make a positive comment, and you're entered. I will draw the winner on Monday. And if you're new, welcome. Please tap the subscribe button and then tap the bell so you get notifications when I post a video. So I hope you're all having a great Saturday. Enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy it. I don't think we're going to do anything today. I'm just kind of relaxing. So have a great weekend, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.